All right. All right, everybody, welcome to the game. Um, would someone like to give us a rundown of where we were at and what is going on? We took horse and carriage uh, west to catch up with the imminent clusterfuck of a battle that um, Cudgel and Bacaris were at. Bacaris had been given lead of the army. Uh, we made it to a brook called Inkwater. Uh, six Kalman soldiers on foot were being chased south across a narrow crossing by four mounted dragon army soldiers. Um, battle ensued. We killed three and kept one alive with a crushed leg. Uh, interrogated him. Bjorn did a charm on him to get him to uh, ride away and fuck off thinking something different than what had actually happened. Um, we set up camp, uh, making our way back towards Kalaman. Um, Bacaris bitched and moaned and cried the whole time. Um, we ate leftover Dragon Owl barbecue. Um, several of them left early in the morning, and the guys let Padraig get more sleep so that he could lose his level of exhaustion. Uh, we made it back to Kalaman. Uh, Bjorn knew about Lord Soth and a former knight of Salomnia who turned uh, Caradoc was a knight who served Lord Soth uh, there were knights of Salomnia guarding doors on our way to the inner keep um, they let us pass uh, silently um, we got to the council chambers and it looks like they're all dead uh Caliph Miat, the governor, is um, his corpse is in the seat of honor, a long sword piercing his body. A figure in Knights of Salamnia armor is seen balancing a parchment scroll atop one hand. Session ends. Right. So, um, I'm just going to read what you guys notice as you come in, and then we can begin the game. <clears throat> A scene of slaughter spills across the council chamber. Several guards wearing the colors of Kalaman soldiers lie tangled amid skeleton remains in tarnished Salamic armor. The bloody bodies of Kalaman council members slump in high back chairs and across the room's large table at a position of honor opposite the governor. Or sorry, opposite the door. Governor Caliph Miet's body is transfixed, transfixed in his chair a gleaming longsword piercing his chest. Next to the governor's body, a man in Salomnic armor rocks back in a chair. He props his booted feet on the table as he bounces a scroll on one finger. Oh. Hello. I'm glad you've arrived. I believe you are the ones I've been waiting for. Hail, friends, and fear not. Your heroes has arrived, he says as he sets down the scroll and puts his arm around Caliph Miet's dead body. I, Knight Caradoc, bring word that the Knights of Salamnia are, at this very moment, en route with all manner of pomp and mustache wax and whatever else they bother with these days. I would suggest you try to contain yourselves better than this lot did, as he waves his hand, motioning towards the multitude of dead bodies. What the hell is the meaning of all this? Well, what do you mean? Who killed the council? And I'm going to say a little prayer under my breath and give bless to myself, uh, Padraig, and Bjorn. Okay. He he says, oh, this, this sword? Uh, he yanks it from the body as the body kind of slumps further down in the chair. Blank eyes staring at you. 
and he says, oh, well, this is my sword, of course. <laughs> and he, he stands and he slides it into his sheath. You're, you're going to have to pay for your crimes. Oh, I don't know if that's a good idea. Um, you notice that these two soldiers behind him, um, wearing some rather tarnished and in some places even rusty armor of Salamic Knights, step forward and both place their hands upon their swords, although they do not draw them. Shields out in front seem to take a stance as if getting ready. What exactly is your business here, and who is it that you serve? Well, I mean, are you not even going to offer names? What manners you have? Although, I'm curious. I guess a bear wouldn't have manners, now would he? Anyways, I am Karadok, Knight of Salomnia, and he kind of like raises one leg and puts it on a chair and does, like, the Captain Morgan stance, you know? Chin and eyes up, like he's absolutely, you know, king shit. And as for who I serve, he brings his leg back down off the chair. Well, you see, that isn't really your concern. Dwarf, if you do not stop moving, I just want to have a conversation. I feel like you might be trying to get in a more advantageous position. Explain yourself and why you've killed the council or you'll have to answer for your crimes. <laughs> Please. This is merely a shell. You may strike me down, but I assure you, you will not actually harm me. I'd like to do Divine Sense. Sure. Uh, what is the range of that, sir? Sir. Let's see. Oh, my music stopped. I was talking too long. Yo, uh, 60 feet. Yes. Uh, you feel this one here and this one here. And is it blocked by anything? Um,. As long as it's not behind total cover. Hmm. Okay. So, I feel like... Yeah. So, yeah, you notice these three here in the room. However, as you do, this one seems strange. Like there's, like there's something left there. Not fully Stop. undead. Is undead the only type I'm detecting? It is. And have any objects been consecrated or desecrated in the room? It does not seem so. However, However, you do also get a sense of something in this corner. But as you look at this corner, there doesn't seem to be anything there. And Gondar, so, you are by the door. I would like you to give me a perception. Based on hearing. Yeah, you hear them. You begin to hear uh, footsteps. Um, they are not rushed. And they definitely sound like metal on stone. Much like... Uh, Padreg would make with his plate. From what direction? Direction you came from. You, yeah, you as, as you guys look at this uh, undead soldier, you realize that the same type of armor he's wearing is the armor that was uh, of, of the knights who were at the entrance to the castle when you arrived. Um, can uh, the door I'm starting into uh, or the other one 
at, at the north of me be somehow locked or barricaded? Um, you want to try to barricade it or lock it? Yeah. Sure. You may try. You may try. Okay. Do you have a spare uh, staff or spear? First of all, uh, guys, I think we're about to have some company. Seems this fucker over here is afraid of us and waits for his friend to do it, for his friends to possibly stop us from doing whatever we want. Well, you cannot have order if everybody gets to do what they want, of course. But don't worry, unless you all begin to raise a hand, or a sword, or a spell, as he looks at Bjorn as he casts aid. That will be the last spell cast in this room, or there will be trouble. I promise you that. Isn't that right? Councilman Miot, um, and he, he kind of grabs uh, Councilman Miot, and he he uh, he moves the thing's jaw as he mount as he kind of like changes his voice and goes, "Yeah, that's right." <laughs> I'm trying to lock the door or barricade it with uh, something. Oh, so you're barricading? Rock. Sorry. Uh... God damn it! Uh, so you're barricading this one here? I thought it was the other one. Ah. Oh, good. If, I, if I have the chance, I prefer the other one. The other one? Um, I'm going to say they're, they're, they're getting a little close for the other one, but you can barricade this one if you wish. Okay, I, I do. All right, so you shut it. And when Bronn sees him do that to the council person, he's had enough of this, and he pulls his weapon out and pretty much is ready to fucking fight. Okay, in that case, uh, since there's no more conversation, and the fight is beginning. Braun will use Warning Shout, and he's going to yell, you're going to burn for this. One creature you can see can hear you. What happens called uh, one creature you can see that uh, gains advantage on its initiative roll. Who is... And it's going to be Pedreg. Um, I already have advantage on initiative rolls because of my shield. Then so. Gondar. Thank you. Am I able to see if I notice him getting ready to draw a sword to see if I have time to cast a spell before your initiative roll? Uh, I'm going to say no. Because, like, like, these take less than a second. You're not going to have time to get another one off. But... You can all click on your tokens and then hit your initiative button, please. Where is the initiative? I just forgot. <laughs> it's at the top of your sheet, my dude. Yeah, top where? <laughs> Should uh, under found it, found it, found it. Damn, it's been that long. <laughs> I was looking elsewhere. <clears throat> okay, well, let me roll some people in. And you got advantage on the on the initiative in case you get higher. Oh, forgot that. Thanks. Yeah, I don't think clicking advantage and then clicking initiative. Actually no, no. The, the only way to do it is to go into your settings um, and change it. Um, but you got your first roll was higher. But the only time you really want to do that is if you have something like uh, like how you got Pedreg, you got your shield. So you, you roll that advantage. So if you mouse over, you see in brackets you got a 4, and then you got uh, a nat 20. So it took your nat 20, since you got advantage. Brock, 
Grom was all talk, and now he's so low on the initiative. Yup. You sure are, <laughs> buckaroo. <laughs> As Braun begins to, he uh, casts a spell, and he says, Well, it is too bad. I think I would have liked to have a chat with you all, but now, well, now you get nothing. And uh, the three of them draw their swords. Braun, you are first up in initiative. What would you like to do? The other B guy. Sorry, did I say Braun? I meant Bjorn. Yeah. Bjorn, okay. you're up. So I'm gonna like start strumming on my um, on my band door, like a really deep, bassy battle music, and cast hypnotic pattern uh, to include all three of them. Okay, thirty foot cube, and they have disadvantage because I'm using my band door. Creature becomes charmed for the duration while charmed by the spell. Okay, so... 30-foot cube, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's huge. There. Okay. So, it will definitely hit all three of them. It is a wisdom saving throw at wisdom. disadvantage. <laughs> um. Oh, well, that was a waste of a nat 20. And does my bless come into factor at all? Uh, no. Your your bless is for attacks and your saving throws. Oh, so it's not just for saving throws? No. Attacks and saving throws. And how long does bless last for? One minute or until he loses concentration. Whatever comes first. Yeah. And your DC is 15. Okay. As you cast this spell, Herodoc looks at the other two, who seem to be kind of a daze. Their, their arms are kind of slumped down at their sides, staring at the pretty colors. And Herodoc looks at them, looks at the shining light around the room. Oh, that's very pretty. Well, you're going to decorate with colors. I think I might too. This room could use a little more blood, don't you think? <laughs> Do you have anything else, Bjorn? Big talk for a man that's not even here. I'm going to use my bonus action to give Padraig a bardic inspiration. And then I'm going to... Uh, is that a table above me? Like... If I backed up one step, would I be in That is a cover? cart. No, beside it. Oh, that? Yes, that is a table. Like a refreshment table. Or, like, if I move... Here, would I be partial cover? Like No. <laughs> you, you is would... there anywhere I can move to be in partial cover? No. Alright. So yeah, I'm just going to give him the Bardic Inspiration. I'll, I'll post uh, what it does and the extra thing, because you can use it for your attack rolls, or you can add it to your damage. Okay. So, um, I forgot to ask, Gondar, uh, you barricaded this door. How were you barricading it? Well, um... Uh... It doesn't have a lock, does it? Give me a perception. Yeah. 
It does. In fact, you notice um, pretty much right next to you a large, thick beam that seems to uh, you, you you placed inside of the uh, uh, inside of the fuck. What are those called, man? On the back of a door. A door. A handle. No, not a handle. Like old school, you know, you shut the door. No, not a no. not a latch. It, it's it's a big beam. You place a beam that blocks the doors from opening. Ah, okay. Like the heavy doors. The, yeah, the heavy yeah. Open door. yeah, okay. What do you lock you think? <laughs> you put a beam that shuts the door. Alright. Alright, so we will lock Did uh did Braun and Gondar did you add eight um maximum hit points? Nope. Thank you, sir. Sure. So Thank yeah, you. add eight maximum hit points separate. That means if you heal, you can get them back for eight hours. Yep, I add them in and bracket them my hit points. Thanks, and they're not temporary, then? They're not no, temporary. They're, they're temporary maximum hit points. Yeah, so so unlike yeah. you, you know regular temporary hit points, like once they're gone, they're gone. These basically boost your maximum until for for the next eight hours. Uh, curious, what time is it about? So I can keep in my notes when it'll wear off. Uh, I think I said you guys were still like, fuck. The dragon. I don't suppose you took down the time it took you guys to get here, right? After you slept in. I can't remember. Okay. I have it. It's uh, it's one p.m. when we arrived at the council building. Okay. There you go. 1 p.m. Um, but with that, Padrag, you are up, sir. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, uh, 30. Uh, just keep in mind, if you yeah, attack, attack the people that are charmed... Oh, it, it'll break it? Yeah, or if anyone even shakes them, like if you interact with them, touch them or hit them or anything, it'll snap them out of it. Can you draw the circle of that effect? Uh, Is it it's just gone. from the front no. dude back to the wall? It, it, it's it's gone. It disappears after the casting, but he he holds concentration on the um on the creatures. Their their incapacitation. Oh, okay. Uh, that's a table. How tall is? Yeah, how tall is the table? <laughs> All right, um, I'm going to say it's probably about three feet off the ground, uh, like to the top. Easy peasy. All right. I'll swing on Rosef. All right. You charge in, leaping up onto the table, and um, head straight for Karadoc. Give me your attack. Have at him. Um, and I've got Bardic Inspiration. Mm -hmm. So I need to roll first and then decide if I'm going to use it. Yes. Before I know if it failed. Indeed. And I've got Bless. So that's a D4? Uh, yeah, and Bardic yes. is 1D8. Bless doesn't wear off, though, so he can add that to every single one. And then if one, it looks like one fails, then he can add the Bardic Inspiration. So I have Bless clicked, and I click... Um, nice. God damn. Yeah. You, you, you charge in, drawing your longsword. And you bring it down at him. Uh, he goes to raise his shield, but it does bite into his arm. Give me your damage. You could also add the Bardic Inspiration to that instead if you choose. I want to save it for my second swing. All right. You, you uh, withdraw your arm, um, blood dripping from your blade. He doesn't seem like he's very phased. It, it looks like it did the kind of damage you were expecting, but it's almost like he didn't feel it. 
but you draw back your sword to make another swing. Full send. Uh, Bardic Inspiration. Alright. Roll your dice. Is it just 8 or is it a D8? It's a D8. D8. Yup. You, you come back down and this time uh, he raises his sword and tries to parry. Um, but you manage to hit him. your damage. Oh, there you go. Um, as you, uh, as he begins to parry, uh, you quickly withdraw your sword and try to slice under his arm. Uh, you get him kind of like right where the, the gap in the armor is, uh, near the armpit. And you take a nice slice into him. You, you feel the blade slice in, um, cutting through some of the chain mail. And how tall is he? Uh, he's about six foot. Uh, shield to the face for my bonus action? Sure. Um, that's an ability check, so bless doesn't affect that, right? What, shield of faith? No, oh, shield, shield to, the, to face. the face. Uh, shield of face? <laughs> Yeah, it, it, it's uh, it's not it's not an attack, right? It's just a um, athletics check com contested. Yeah. Athletics check. All right. Uh, yeah, contested athletics. Uh, bless does not work for that. Do you still have gift of luck? I should. Um, I don't. When did it get cast? Uh, Before we left the camp, right? I have cast it on all of you. Yeah, it was okay. it was while you were sleeping, I, I think, while we were waiting for you, he was casting it. I have four p I think four PM the day before the long rest. I think. Or okay, so we got a couple hours rest. left. Wow. Uh, yeah. You slam him, and, uh, he goes back five feet and ends up on his back. As he hits the ground, he kind of chuckles. Oh, well, you're going to be the fun one, aren't you? <laughs> and, uh, I believe it's, what, 1d4 plus 2 for the damage? Six. Yeah, no, for six and he's prone? Yep, he sure is. Sorry, archers. No worries. I think we all like to, to get personal with this guy. Look, he's calling for his mommy. <laughs> peek -a -boo. Two more rush in um, from outside of the room as this door opens. This door here opens. They're going to make some attacks on you, sir. Wow, really? That's, that's their plus to hit. Keep forgetting to modify stop blocks. Hey, is it possible okay. when you're rolling to attack us that you make it so we can see it? No. So I know, because I need to know whether to use cutting words or not. No, because that that's how that kind of stuff is supposed to work. You're not supposed to know whether it's going to hit. But, but it says I choose this feature when it makes its roll, but before the DM determines whether it hits. So me seeing the roll wouldn't tell me if it hits, but... Post, post, like, post it. The problem is, is things load for you quicker than me, so you end up saying whether things land or not before I even see what people rolled. Yeah, 
you can use it if it succeeds, but before damage is rolled. So you could make the decision to use it or not based on what the ability or weapon is. Choose to use this feature after the creature makes its roll, but before the DM determines whether the attack roll or ability check succeeds or fails or before the creature or before the creature deals its damage. So basically, if I say something hits, then you can choose to, to use okay. it. So because most things will say like, you know, um, before uh, uh, before uh, the damage is dealt or or the or something to that effect. Right. So if I was to uh, I didn't see that part. Yeah, so because they all they all roll at uh, like they all roll at advantage, but if they don't actually have advantage, I just take the first number. So there's always two rolls in my enemy's stat blocks or my enemy's attacks, right? So if you were to look at that and be like, oh, you know that that first one's going to hit, but I know that second one's not going to hit, then you can just be like, oh, cutting words. So it, it, it's metagaming, which is why I hide it so you guys don't know. But because it does say, you know. Um, before the creature deals its damage, then I would let you use it if I'm like, okay, he hits you, and then you can be like, cutting words, motherfucker. Fair. So, let's see. These two are about to attack the drag. What do they got? Oh. Well, that's fun. As they charge in, oh my, as they charge in, um, they both reach towards you and you begin to feel like life is draining. Uh, I'm pretty sure your AC is over 20, yeah? Yep. Okay. First one is a miss. However, the second one is a hit. Cutting words. What is your AC, Padraig? 22. Okay. Uh, I'm going to mutter, you guys smell worse than the shit I take after I've eaten fish for two weeks. Probably not wrong. <laughs> it it, it kind of distracts one of them, and uh, his uh, his attack misses. But as they, they get closer, they both make their sword attacks as well. Uh, they're both undead, right? Um, yes. Okay. Because uh, it says until the end. Oh, no. End of my next turn. I did it before my turn started, right? The divine uh -huh. sense. Okay. Never mind. It doesn't apply anymore. But they look the same as the two that are hypnotized. Yeah, their, their armor is exactly the same. Uh, that kind of thing. Um, but as they, they rush in and you start to feel your life essence being drained, uh, you hear Bjorn in the background, uh, basically give them, a give them a little bit of a burn, uh, and that falters, but then they both, uh, use their long swords, chopping at you two-handed. The, the first one, you manage to just, like, lift your foot and it slams in the table. The second one swings at you and you block it with your sword. Gondar, you're up. Okay. Um, they seem to be protecting this guy. Am I correct in that? Indeed. Hmm. Uh, I'm wondering if I stand uh, beside um, Pedrake, can I reach him? I have a long uh, reach weapon. For example, if I come... Um, or is he out yeah, you, you, your, your reach is 10 feet, right? Yeah. I'm going to say yes, but you won't have advantage because you will have to reach a little bit further. Because although he is 10 feet, he's also prone, so he's a, li a little bit further back. So you wouldn't have advantage on it, but you could possibly hit him yeah let me check the, log the logistics then leapfrog that motherfucker yeah i don't have that kind of movement 
Uh, so I'm going new bind. I attack uh, the the closest creature. Okay. That's one. So, uh, and a strike. Send it. Gondar, after after um, locking the door with the beam, uh, you charge in and you use your you swing your glaive at a distance. Uh, you do manage to hit this one. Fifteen. Okay. Okay. You, that's, uh, you sir, that... can give me a perception real quick. Okay. Yeah, it's magical. It it's magical. It says non-magical. Uh, yeah, but uh, my weapon, my packed weapon, is always magical. Oh, it's not. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's not. It's not a magical weapon per se, but it's considered uh, as magical. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, you don't need the perception if if it's considered magical. So it strikes true. It does. It does. Okay, I pull it back and uh, try to hit him again. Okay. So you rush up and. Uh, you, you swing your glaive, and the first one bites into his shoulder um, quite deeply. He doesn't scream. He doesn't shout. But he turns towards you. You withdraw your glaive, and you go to chop again, and this time he blocks it with his longsword, parrying it over his head. Okay, then I try my last attack. Ah, uh, uh, sorry. Uh, did he bleed even a little bit? As you're looking at this wound um, mid-fight, I'm going to use your perception check you rolled there. I'm going to say it doesn't look like normal blood. It, it has a very dark tinge to it. But it is blood. It is. It, 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 it's old, coagulated blood. Okay. Suits me fine. Uh, in that case, I'll use my bonus action to cast blood armor on myself. Okay. Uh, let, let me post it. weapon attack you can immediately cast blood armor as a bonus action oh you struck must contain blood if the target doesn't bleed spell ends without effect the blood flowing from your mind that's sick okay wow yeah holy <laughs> shit that's a strong ass spell so as this coagulated blood um that you see uh, on your glaive you you raise uh your hand and you use some arcane words. And some of the blood uh, that seems to be stuck to his armor and a little bit inside uh, his shoulder, as well as what is on your glaive, suddenly begins to form around you, sweeping in and just surrounding you. It almost looks like uh, a very... So, sorry, pressed something. I pressed the wrong spell here. What shadow portal? Sorry, uh, it was. Um, I wanted to uh, to use the slot, and I pressed the wrong spell. I I do use blood armor. Yeah, no worries. Sorry for interrupting. As, as this uh, coagulated blood starts to flow around you, it seems to swirl around your body, uh, and then it raises up over your chest and your arms and your legs. Um, it almost looks like a, a, a strawberry jam armor, but the smell of copper fills the air around you all. 
And as it almost locks in around him, like he's a goddamn Power Ranger, <laughs> you feel like you are better defended, Gondar. Thank you. And turn for me. I pull a little bit backwards. All right. Damn you, motherfucker. Ooh, what a neat trick. He laments. Two, three. The one I hit or the, the other one? The one laying on the ground. Okay. Bjorn. You hear yes. right behind you. Beating on the door as somebody's trying to open the door. But I can't do anything, right? No. Uh, 18. Okay. The beam, um, you, you hear a small crack in the beam. Uh, it's, it's not cracked like it's, it's not broken, but you realize it's probably not going to be long before, uh, that door busts open. As they begin to continue to beat on this door. Uh, the next, the next few, uh, bumps against the door seem much weaker than their initial, uh, almost like they had had a running charge. Uh, at the first, uh, the first door. Or the, the first time. Braun, you're up. Mr. Talking All the Shit coming in last in initiative. <laughs> Braun sees everyone else run in and then also runs in, um, using the chair to get help get up on the table because he's not as tall as Patrick. But as soon as he gets up on the table, he is going to cast, um, mirror image on himself. Alright, so here. I want you to mark which one is you. So mark which one you actually are. There you go. Okay. And then bonus action uh, I'm going to use my spiritual weapon good old good old trusted spiritual weapon I'm gonna pop it up right by the door over here I believe I gave you a spiritual weapon um, mm -hmm. thing right you did boom and it's a big uh, radiant sword okay you know what let me fix that because it came in real small for some reason to do where oh, nice. is your spiritual weapon delete that token and you select a token there it should come in at a proper size and then you may roll your attack as you can make one attack with it when it first spawns i believe it's going to attack uh caradoc all right um can I oh, attack sorry. from that angle? Uh, yes, and it has advantage because it is a melee attack. From within a uh, decent distance. Oh, what a nice sword. And it then slashes down into him. Roll me your damage. Let me see if I get a crit. I tried to roll advantage. Apologies. How strange. It looks like a sword, and yet I felt like a hammer hit me. It's very, very weird. <laughs> is it? Or a sword? It seems so weird. It is, yeah. That oh, makes sense. And that's Bronze turn. He's going to stay here on the edge of the table. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, they don't get to reroll a save, right, uh, Bjorn? No, they have to be shaken awake or uh, attacked. Okay, that's fun. So let's see, what does our boy here have? Sword leadership. Would Bjorn know whether undead creatures are immune to necrotic damage? Um, I would say that on your turn, you could roll me a history check or a arcana check. Would that count as an action? No. Which can benefit from all the money it should be done every time. Oh, that's nice. What else we got? Oh, I didn't notice that. Damn, I should be using that the whole time. Well, live and learn, I guess. He stands up. Well, it has been fun, but I believe it is my turn. <laughs> uh, Gondar. He uses an ability. I need you to make a DC 15 wisdom save. As he kind of looks at you and he starts to mouth words. But you can hear it whispering into your mind like he's right next to you. Well, I guess I'll use my gift of luck here. You hear him whispering. A dwarf's been talking shit. You should hit him. And for a moment, it it, it feels like um, you, you almost get overcome with rage and you almost give in, but you kind of shake the thought out of your head. And he kind of cocks his head and looks at you. Oh, what a shame. Well, that's fine. I think it's your mama looking for you, big guy. Oh, ho, ho. your mama jokes. Well, <laughs> let's go, shall we? And he just kind of like slaps the 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 two next to him, um, on the shoulder. Both of, shoulder. Both of them. Yep. He's kind of like body checks both of them, and they kind of stumble and they snap out of it. And he steps back. He kind of just... Going already? We'll miss you. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'm just finding a more advantageous spot. And he walks to the other side of this this door. Um, excuse me. Can he, I get an attack of opportunity He is him? still within range. He says, oh, excuse me, as he kind of bypasses this uh, spectral weapon. I imagine it's not big enough to stop it's stop him. No, it's not. I believe it's technically supposed to be small, but I want to be able to see it on the map, so I enlarged it. And he shuts the door. Bjorn. All right, so I can make that roll? Yes. Uh, what am I rolling? History? History or Arcana, your choice. Although I will say that, uh... Yeah, you know what? Yeah, just, just roll one of them. Up to you. Uh, that two is probably from Blast. I don't know if that counts or not. Um, on an ability check? No. 17. As you look where some of these has been have been damaged, um,
you believe that these might be uh what you would call whites w i g h t it's a specific type of undead and you believe that yes these particular ones are probably immune to necrotic damage okay um just one other question before i make my move so my my cantrip shalele uh came from my bandor so i have to play my bandor to cast it as i understand but how does that work because then i'm using like a club or something uh post a spell for me the confusion only comes because i have to play my band or to be able to I cast know. the All spell right. just let me read it and I'll, I'll get back to you So you would cast it, and then you would have to pull out your uh, club or quarterstaff. So then I could still use it without, because I don't have to constantly play the band or to be using it. No, no. You, you all right. for for all of your your spells, uh, you you know you you can say something or, you know, dep depending on the components you need. Like this one needs all of them: vocal, somatic, and material. But your your Bandor is a um, arcane um, arcane focus, so so that takes care of any material components, and then your somatic is like finger movements, and your vocal is obviously voice. So you play it, and it takes a bonus action to play it. So you know a few tunes and a <laughs> you know or a Michael Jackson, yeah. Or whatever it is Michael Jackson does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and your spell is cast. All right, and that wouldn't break concentration on another spell? If it is not a concentration spell, then no, it does not. Oh, so you mean I can cast, and while I'm concentrating, I can cast any of my spells that don't require concentration? I think we've been over that the last four sessions, yes. Oh, man. All right, you, well, you need I'm to take gonna... a note on that, my boy. I'm going to move up beside Gondar. And I'm going to cast Bane on uh, on the four that are there. Okay. Ghost me Bane. Hold on. Yeah, give me one second. It does three creatures, so if I cast it at level two, I can do all three. Does it say you can do that? Yes, it does. Yeah, okay. that, that's what I was reading before I cast it. Christmas saving throw. With a DC of 15. Wow. Okay. Uh, now, do I see, like... Did any of these chairs or something get broken in the uh, in the fight? Do I see something on the ground that would be like a club, could use as a club or a weapon? Because it would cost an action for me to pull out my staff, right? I mean, it, it's uh, it would it would technically cost you. A, you know what? Maybe I should change that rule. It does seem to be rather constricting. Yeah, because if I spend my turn casting it on the because I have my bandor out, but say I was wearing my quarter staff on my back, it cost an action to pull it out afterwards. Okay, so how we're gonna uh, work this rule from now on is if you want to unsheath or sheath uh, or like put away uh, weapons, you will be able to use your free action because everybody has one free action or like object interaction on their turn. Um, however, if you want to do it with two or like put one away and pull another out, it will take your free action as well as your bonus action. Make sense? Yeah. So I just want to pull out my quarter staff and cast Shalele on it with my bonus action before ending my turn. 
Okay, so you 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 uh, use your sh uh, your sorry, you use your bandor um, as your bonus action, and then as your uh, object interaction, you pull out your club. Now, what are you doing with your bandor though? What do you mean? Are you just I just I just need I just need the the bandor is what allows me to cast that yes. spell. Yes, so you cast it. And are you just holding it in one hand then afterwards? Uh, is a quarter staff two handed? I believe so. Oh, well, not necessarily. Can my bandor have a strap on it, and so I just like let it go, and it just hangs on me? Uh, weapons. That's always kind of how I pictured it. When I'm not playing it, I just kind of put it on my back. So a quarter staff is you can use it with one hand, but it's a D6 it's a instead D6 of a D8. Okay. However, with Shillelagh, I think it automatically becomes a D8, anyways, doesn't it? Yeah, and magical. Huh. So if it's not going to up it past a D8, anyways, I'll just use it as a one-handed and keep my my bandor. Okay. Very well. And that ends. That ends. The drag. Um, so they're all baned? Uh, yes, they are. Nice. Just nice. Reducing saves. Attack roll or saving throw. All right, you you jump off the table. Landing in the midst of these warriors. Okay. You gain two AC. As long as you hold concentration. <laughs> On saves. And you're saving okay so even with a negative four that's a pass that one's definitely a fail uh, even with a negative four that's a pass and that one is a fail so give me your damage and what is your word of radiance sir as you leap off this table off. vengeance you leap off crying vengeance and uh, a burst of radiance burst from you, um, hitting all of them. However, they don't take any damage if they pass, right? No, no damage if they pass. Um, although it is shining brightly at them, uh, you do notice the two close or the two further away from you uh, are able to um, kind of shield their eyes from from the damage. But the other two, okay. Very well. Um, the other two, you can see um, that there's smoke rising from, from inside their armor. You will be your will. Um, for an object interaction? Yeah. Where's that ball? What ball? I need to look up Drift Globe. It doesn't show anything. In, I have it in my inventory, but it doesn't show anything on... Uh, I'm going to have to look it up in the continue. Uh, Bless um, has lasted, by the way. What's that? Bless has likely ended. Okay. Cast at the start of Oh, no, you cast it before combat, didn't you? Yeah, it was at the start of our conversation. We talked for like 30 seconds at least. Yeah. I'll, I'll let I'll you I'll decide let you. how many rounds are left. 
So reading the description of Drift Globe in the compendium, it looks like I can activate it and it doesn't cost an action. It's just an action if I want it to float in the air or move around. But to activate it is just, I say the word. Hmm, let's see. Or and cause it to emanate light or a light. Um, I'm going to say because both of those uh, spells are actually an action, it, it, it would take an action. That means it would take two turns to fully use the item, and it doesn't say action. you or another creature grasps it. Like, it'd be impossible to use in one turn. Though. All right, you know what? I guess light and daylight aren't exactly, like, super-powered spells. I'll allow it. Uh, daylight. So, let's see. Very complete cover. Okay. Sure. The light shines brightly. And although they do tie... It does seem like they're trying to... Uh, try to shield their eyes. They begin to laugh. Look at the shining light. <laughs> and they all kind of chuckle about it. I'm assuming you're uh, relying on the sunlight sensitivity, huh? I mean, if they're whites, I don't know what kind of white they are, but some, some whites, um, paladins can use light spells against and it fucks them up. Um, that is correct. However, what you were hoping this for... Is the oh only, this is the only light thing that I have handy without a long rest to switch my spells. So I thought it was worth a try. It was worth a try. Unfortunately, they do not seem to uh, be... They do not seem to be affected, as you were hoping. Boo. Sorry, it, it's literally in the sheet. <laughs> not not just in the in the, the fucking stop block, but like on the handout. Use this stop block, but negate these abilities from it. Yeah, I just know that like my radiant attacks aren't close enough to sunlight. This is the closest I have. This is true. That's my turn though. Um oh shit. If you're pulling out a globe, what are you doing with your sword and shield? Uh, swords put away to hold the ball. Uh, ye... you put away your sword as your, your free action, I take it? Can I switch between the sword and the ball? Um, you would have had to have dropped either your shield or sword because you used a shield of faith as your bonus action. Then I guess I don't take out the drift globe. Okay. The undead soldier. Let's see. They have Bane. 
Okay, so... They are going to continue to attack you, Drag. Uh, yep. Even with a minus one out of a d4, they both fail. So then they're gonna uh, swing at you with their long swords. And even without the d4, that's those are both fails. So uh, as they begin to uh, uh, reach out towards you and and try and drain your life force, uh, you can tell they're doing the same thing they did before. Uh, but you do not have any effect. Um, or sorry, it doesn't have any effect on you. So they both use their long swords and both start chopping at you. And you know the the one up here, you just kind of block over and over again with your your shield, and the other one you just keep blocking with your sword. Wait, what did you mean by drain my life force? Is this the thing that they tried to do to Gondar? Or oh yeah, sorry, it was to Gondar, not you, wasn't it? The thing where he oh, said like attack no, no. the dwarf. No, no. Uh, he was, they were when they first came rushing into the room, they had tried to uh, like the, they reached a hand towards you and you started to feel your life force drain, but uh, it it didn't work. Oh, it's a touch attack. Uh, it's not a touch. Um, it's well, it, it's five feet, so yeah, kind of a touch. Yeah. Good thing I'm not that close to all of them. Hmm. Um, well, that's only these two here. The others are on different initiative. Uh, but Gondar, it is your turn, sir. Oh, did we okay. all hear the thing that he heard, or was that just in his head? That was just him. Okay, my bad. Okay. I get near. And, uh, strike at the one I hit before. Alright, alright. Send that. it. Sorry, sorry, left the advantage zone. That's fine, it hits anyway. Roll me your damage. You shift positions and you chop down with your glaive. Uh, you manage to bite into, uh, like, the nape of his neck. <clears throat> okay. You withdraw yep. your sword, at, or your glaive, and I take you want to attack him again. Yes. It seems the polite thing to do. We'll send. Holy shit! Well, hopefully you roll real good on this. Give me your, give me your damage. Off. Oh. Sorry, I uh, hit it twice. It's uh, nine. Okay, that's fifteen. Does the seven get doubled though for the nat twenty? No, it just rolls. No, two no, dice. just the dice. It, it it should be rolling the crit on its own. Yet it is not. Okay, so why is it not rolling fucking damage dice twice? Second, Gondar. Let me fix that real quick. Your glaive, sir. Ah, that's why. Uh. Ch -ch -ch. It is. Well, it, it should be rolling double. Why did not not roll twice dice? Two plus four plus one. It didn't roll your fucking extra dice. That's fucking weird. Oh, I, I see. It did. Okay. So it's the 12. That's why. The 12 does have it in there. Okay, so yeah, 12. You know what? Uh, it's close enough. I'm going to give it to you. You want to describe what happens as you swing your, your glaive the second time? I, I swing it uh, on a horizontal, uh, horizontally, uh, and uh, I decapitate it. I decapitate him. Yeah, you. Uh, your first swing chops into its nape, and you weren't, you weren't overly happy with that one, so you pull back and you use as much of your charisma strength as you can and you chop again and this time it goes through like butter the head topples off rolling over to here 
and the body kind of like stays standing for a minute and it turns towards you and he raises his sword and then just topples to the ground. Okay. Uh, on to the next one. I go here. I kick the head uh, sure. away. <laughs> and then make my bonus attack with the butt end of my weapon against this guy here. Okay, send it. <coughs> yeah, you, uh, uh, after decapitating him, you kind of send the, the glaive into a, um, a, uh, a spin. A rotating spin. Yeah, a rotating spin, and you come across to the side of this one's helmet, and you hear the ding, and... Now, Padrag, you can finally see the face as part of the... When he hits the helmet, the face covering flies away, and he looks at you. His his skin is uh, withered and rotten. His mouth seems to have no lips, uh, and it kind of just curls up. Like the, not, the, the, the not not chalice in Indiana Jones? What, what? <laughs> The dude that chose the wrong chalice in Indiana Jones? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're a naggy one, haven't you? Uh, okay. Uh, that's uh, eight uh, magical bloodzonic damage. And I take a step back. All right. Uh, over here, they're going to do a couple more bounces against the door. I forgot to tell everyone about the door. Do they hear it now? Oh, they definitely can because uh, now the uh, the beam cracks and it seems it's on the verge of giving way. Um, you guys can hear the the cracking over the din of this fight. Um, Bjorn, can you move this uh, to all the all this table, whatever it is, uh, behind the door? Am I allowed to respond? It's on my turn. Yeah, you can respond. You just I'll can't see what I can do. do. Alright. I don't uh, think the ones coming will be on our side. Does my audio sound fucked up now? My uh, my input switch around. I want to make sure they're still good. No, it's still no. good. I can hear you. Braun, your turn, sir. What do you want to do? Uh, Braun is going to see the action in front of him, and he's still fired up, so he's going to kind of keep sprint, or kind of keep moving forward and cast Spirit Guardians on himself, um, which calls forth some spirits to circle around me in a 15-foot um, circle. And every time an enemy starts its turn or I think it's like whenever I enter their space let me just see alright so what we're going to do is we are going to yeah give me one moment draw you a circle motherfucker yeah everyone will be who's uh, an enemy to me will be affected by it. None of my allies will be. That's a great spell there. Mm -hmm. One of the finest cleric spells. Agreed. So yeah, creatures' speed is halved when they're inside the area. And when they enter the area for the first time or start their turn on it, they need to do a wisdom saving throw for 3d8 radiant damage. You got more movement you want to do before I start rolling?
Okay. And what kind of save is it? Yeah. Uh, wisdom. Wisdom. And they got bane. Uh, nice with... combo. Okay, so one of them is going to pass, even with the d4. The other two will fail. So, let's go. That one is the first fail. Let's roll me your damage for it. Save. Your speed is halved. Oh, halved. Wow. Alright. Halved in the area when the creature enters the area from the channel is kind of starts its. Oh, wow. Okay. Yep. Okay. Which one of them is taking the six instead of the eleven? Uh, if it's like, visually obvious. I'm gonna say it's not probably not visually obvious because they're still wearing armor, um, and okay. you, you can't see most of like like almost any of their flesh, so it's not gonna be easy to notice. Uh, I will allow you, however, on your turn, to do a check of some sort. The uh, spirit guardians are like a fiery, radiant-looking angelic creatures. Just for like, because I worship Syrian, but it's radiant damage. All right. So all around Brawn, uh, these strange fiery creatures pop into existence, seem to be swirling in a circle around him. Uh, he charges in, and all three of these uh, uh, undead soldiers um, kind of shout in pain, although Brawn... Your turn is not quite over. Mm-hmm. Uh, have I noticed that any... I don't think Padraig's taken any damage. No, no. he's uh, He's been pretty much fucking untouchable. Yeah, so... Bronn's gonna use his bonus action to give him the finger. He just gives right. a rude gesture to the white. All right, he needs, that he's next. He needs to make another another save. Sorry, it was charisma. Oh shit, it was wisdom. You know what? That one actually might have failed. Give me a second. Okay, wow, he, he does fail. I rolled Charisma, not Wisdom. Which dropped it by one, which gave him a chance to fail. So, 15. So he rolled a 18. This one would be 19. 50. Oh, sorry. No, he would have just barely fucking succeeded. Apologies. Um, this one, um, having enough of your shit, charges into this one's space. Uh, he is going to make an attack on you, Bron. So, uh, let's see. Sword got. You can try a life drain first. What's your AC? I'm gonna warning flare him. Over 30 feet. Use your reaction to impose disadvantage. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's a miss. 20. Uh, yeah, that's a miss. Uh, he is going to use his long sword to make an attack. Jesus fucking Christ. I, I, I really need to alter stop blocks, man. I gotta remember to do that for next session. Nobody's getting touched. How does the four of yourself work? Does that itself not give disadvantage? No. Um, how it works is that if he does hit, 
then he uh, Braun rolls a d20 to see whether it is him who gets hit or one of his uh, little poofing buddies. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, but yeah, that's a mess. Uh, so, the door opens once again. And in walks Paddock. Or uh, the spiritual weapon, does it just get to go with my turn? I don't oh, think uh, you gotta use a bonus action to do it. Do I need to use when a bonus we... action to command it to attack? Uh, it Not attacks with attacks. your it, it attacks with your bonus action. Like yeah, you, you basically use your bonus oh. action to make its attack. Well, uh, I fucked that up. But that's okay. You, you you can do it now. I mean, you can't hit this guy because technically he's still outside the room with the door shut. But I mean, if you want to do it, all I would have done is uh, swung on a white with it. Okay, we'll move it into a position and then make your swing. I'm sitting here like, ah, there's nothing I can do with my bonus action. Yeah, no, that unfortunately does not work. This oh, one. Go. This one also actually needs to make his wisdom save to go again. So I forgot about one of them. That one's fine. This one is a uh... 18, so he might be able to fail. Uh, a 3. No, that, that gives him 15, so he just passes a save. Uh, he charges up, and he goes at you, Braun. He's going to make his uh, two attacks. One with the life train. Where did he move? You may get your attack of opportunity, should you wish. If you have a reaction. I do. Sure. How come I don't see him on in, um, initiative? Who? The one that you just moved. Because he was supposed to go when the, uh, the last one went, and I forgot him. Well. Uh, unfortunately, no, uh... You go to swing, but uh, one of these other undead soldiers uh, manages to block your attack um, as you make your swing. But he comes running around, and he hops up onto the edge of the table, and he makes his attacks against you, Mr. Braun. Holy fucking shit. Uh, he completely whiffs it. Um, he's, he's so fucking useless. Uh, I don't know, maybe he's missing half his leg or something, and uh, he's just, he, he can't hit for shit. I could not have rolled worse unless I rolled a nat one. <laughs> um, um, so now the door opens. Caradoc walks in. As soon as he enters my reach, I'll, I'll take an attack of opportunity against him. Oh, okay. Sure. And I'll use my luck towards it. Sure. Is it a hit? It is a hit. Then I stop him at his feet because of my sentinel feet. Okay. He has no more movement. So you he walks back into the room. What are all of you doing? How, how are they not dead yet? Oh, back for more? I will have to do this myself. Um, but as he turns around and looks to, towards you, Gondar, uh, you slam a uh, your your glaive into him. Oh, now this is a new body. Do you mind? It won't be for long. New, that is. Oh, it's already fucking wasted. I'm gonna have to find a new one, anyways. And he is going to. Oh, wow, that's an ability I should have been using at the very fucking start. Good job, Blair. Okay. Um, He's going to use his bonus action first. Oops. 
Who has not used their reaction yet? Braun hasn't, right? I used mine for warding Flare. Okay, so... Heals. And uh, Padraig used an attack of opportunity very well. Bjorn, you haven't used yours yet, right? It depends. Does it reset at the top of the turn order or on my turn? Um, on your turn. And technically you are also the top of the turn order. Uh, so then I did use mine because I cast Shillelagh. Shillelagh is a bonus action, not a reaction. Oh, I thought bonus action and reaction fell into the same category. No, a reaction is its own action. You use that when something happens, like you're cutting words. Okay, then no, I haven't used it. Cool, cool. I need a wisdom saving throw, please. Uh, Bless is gone. Yeah. Yeah. There's still luck, though, if you haven't burned all three. Yeah, I'm going to use my luck. Thank you, Gondar. You, yeah. he you, you hear you whispers, whispers in your ear, Bjorn. Gondar's lying to you. He doesn't like you. He thinks you're a burden. Take your rage out on him. But um, as the rage begins to boil up within you, you once again, uh, just like Gondar, managed to shift, um, shift your point of view as you kind of shake your head and, and get this voice out. You can't falter me. I've always been a burden. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! That's great. He says, My, you are all rather mentally resilient. That's strange. Um, but then. He... Resilient or retarded? Uh, tomato, tomato. And he's going to use his free action to pull out his crossbow. And he's going to fire at you, Bjorn. I Am think I he does has uh, have disadvantage because uh, I'm in melee with him. Uh, or not? No. And did I lose my reaction? No, uh, you didn't. So I can still use it then? You may. Uh, let's see. He fires, and it goes fucking wide. Ugh, I never was good with one of these things. Oh well. Bjorn, your turn. Were you ever good at something? So all three of them still have Bane, right? Mm-hmm. Um, that cart there, would me pushing it count as an action or an object interaction? I'll say it's an object interaction. Uh, so then I'm gonna... So am I right? It would be kind of like 20 feet for me to walk to that cart and roll it in front of the door. Uh, 15. Alright, so I'm gonna do that and, uh, and put my weight sitting on the cart. And then I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt on uh, on Mr. White Teeth over there. Okay. Ron, if that's you trying to make your, your Spirit Guardians, that's not how they work. It's, it's 15 feet around you, not from you. Technically, the circle I drew is too large. It should be about... Uh, just five feet on either side of you. Maybe a couple extra feet. It's not yeah, supposed sir, to be that I'm big. I'm trying to add the actual like aura so it moves with my person. Oh, yeah. So it's it's a much smaller than that, my guy. Oh, I don't think I have anything I can add to make that bigger. Yeah, that that's how it's supposed to be. 15 feet around you. It's 15 foot around or radius, though? It, it's around. It's a it's a diameter. It's not a radius because it doesn't say it doesn't say fifteen feet from you. It says around you. 
Okay, I I have a fifteen. I got a five foot in either direction aura now. Yeah. Uh, thirteen. He chuckles as he just kind of like shifts his head, and your guiding bolt goes wide. Well, this was fun while it lasted, but I feel That's it right. might be almost over. I'm going to uh, use my bonus action to give Bardic Inspiration to uh, Gondar. Much, to, much obliged. And that'll end my turn. I'm putting my full weight on that part in front of the door to try and hold it from cracking in. Oh, I stand corrected. Uh, it is a 15-foot radius. <laughs> so that's pretty big. That is ridiculous. So then wouldn't he have entered that circle then when he came in? Yup. Um, so yeah, um, fuck me, six, and what dice are you rolling for your damage on that? Uh, 3d8. Roll it. Nice. <laughs> there it is. There Radiant it is. if it matters. Um, it, it, it doesn't, but, um, goddamn. Uh, yeah, so... As he chuckles and said, well, this has been fun, um, the Guardians uh, seem to finish him off. Already? Where are you going? Hmm. What does happen when he dies? Let me see. So far, these guys have all seemed like they're fleshy when flesh is exposed, not scaly, right? Uh-huh. Okay. Dibs on his teeth. Jesus. Sure. Uh, yeah, he, he drops to the ground um, as the skin begins to burn away from him. What about the teeth? The combat's not fucking over, man. <laughs> like, but drag, you're up. So so far, I've seen all these guys that are up still get baned and hit by multiple AOEs. Uh huh. Have uh -huh. I seen any of the three of these take single target damage? So I would know that one of them looked like they'd taken more damage than the others. Him. Okay. Um, I want to Okay. Uh, roll your damage. And it is a con saving throw. I love you, whoever put Bane on them. I accept your love. Alright, so one of them is not affected. Uh, this one to your north fails. Oh, I... oh, never mind. I had to use my reaction. Or did I not because my turn came up? You get your reaction back every time it's your turn. Um, is it too late for me to use a reaction spell on, on those guys? No, you can use a reaction spell on one of them. Like, I could use this and it would... 
Oh no, never mind. That's not the right one. Yeah, you uh, were seeing a. Sh I mean, yeah. Do you want to use that one? You can. Oh, when an enemy makes it, but no, because it's not an enemy doing it, or is it because they're make? I can use it because they're making a saving throw. Yes, uh, when an enemy makes an attack roll, ability check, or saving throw. Alright, yeah, I'll use it on, uh, on the one that looks most hurt. Well, you'd be using it on the one that succeeded, which makes that a fail. Uh, yeah, uh, word, you're, you, you cry vengeance once again, and all around you, um, the radiant light seems to burn, and once again, you can see some smoke rolling out of their, um, of their armor and the 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 air kind of starts to uh mix rotten burning flesh along with the uh the copper smell from gondar's armor and the one north of me still looks worst yep uh shield bash sure wait is your shield bash after uh any attack, or is it a weapon attack? Oh. Um, I think it has to be something where I do an attack roll, like a spell attack or regular attack. So I don't, I guess I can't do it. You, you can post your shield, your, your shield master. Uh, attack uh, action. I don't know if... So, uh, I would say no, because this is not an attack action. It is a spell, but it's a saving throw. If you were to say use, like, a... I don't know, like... A guiding bolt spell, that would be an attack action. Yeah, like life transference arrow would count, because it's yeah. an attack Yeah, right? exactly. Okay, um, then... I still have concentration. I don't have a lot I can do with bonus action that don't require concentration except Misty Step. So, um, well, shit. Yeah, and I think all my other spells would be like a reaction. So I'm going to end my turn, saving my... If I have a spell that's a bonus action, it would be different than a spell that uses my reaction, right? Like I couldn't use my reaction to cast a bonus action spell? No. Reaction is its own thing. Bonus action is its own thing. See, it's not just me that needed that reiterated. No, it, it's it's the concentration versus non-concentration spells. You need it reiterated. Yeah, bonus action is rough for paladins at low levels. Uh, I guess I'm uh, done. I'm going to save my reaction in case I need it. All right. Uh, does dude look dead, though? Or does he just look down? This one? Caradoc. Like did oh, he, he like he dead he dead or something or he dead like is he still does he still have mass or is he just a suit of armor or like no he he's a person okay um how does a uh... Bjorn look with the door. Um, I mean, he pushed the cart in front of it, and he's kind of like leaning against it, but I'm he not doesn't leaning. look like. I said like I put my struggling. full weight on it. Yeah, which which would mean leaning against it, my guy. Does he look like he's actively struggling against people on the other side, or does he look pretty chill? Mm, I don't know, Bjorn. How are you looking right now? Are you struggling? 
Well, I would assume not because you like the door hasn't started to break through yet, right? Not yet. So then that that's kind of up to you. I would say no, I'm probably not struggling yet. I'm just like putting my full weight, pushing it up against it just in case. Okay, I'll hang out. Finally seeing Braun eye to eye. Hey, buddy. I All believe right. when a creature starts its turn in my aura, he also takes damage. Uh huh. Give me your damage roll. Flesh begins to burn, however, then makes some attacks against you, Sir Braun. Gondar, you're up. Okay. <laughs> Bro, I'm so over this fucking bullshit attack, like, Jesus Christ. I get closer. And uh, strike this guy. Sure. If you don't like that, I'll uh, use my body inspiration. Okay, roll your inspiration. D8. Roll me your damage. Thanks, Bjorn. Describe. Okay. I smash at his ribs and uh, I break them apart. And then he crumbles down uh, almost uh, as cut in the middle. All right. Uh, anything else, sir? Yeah. I turn to this guy over here for my second attack. Okay. Yeah. And the button attack. Okay. Sure. Yeah, you come rushing in. Uh, you finish the one off, uh, or sorry, your second one off rather quickly. Uh, but then you slash at this next one, and you deal. Eight magical blood zoning damage. And I move to the door. Sure. Give me a second. And just, just watch whether there are any more coming or anything else on the corridor, in the corridor. So, uh, although you don't see anything else coming, uh, you notice that there is a blood trail. Uh, that leads Boy. leads to yeah. this door. Uh, on, just... And sorry, give me one second. In Caradoc. Uh, you notice at the end. Fuck's sakes. You notice at the end of this hallway, uh, there seems to be
what looks to be a staircase with barred door on it, locked with chains and a lock. Going upwards or downwards? Hold on a second. This is fucking weird. Oh, that's why I fucked up. I had you guys come in on the wrong side. Uh, it's going down. Okay. And turn for me. Bjorn, the door behind you, uh, they start to break through. Um, they break a good chunk off the door. Um, and now you are having to struggle to put your weight behind it. Give me a contested athletics, please. So just athletics? I don't know what contested, contested means. Contested means you're, you're athletic, athleticizing against somebody else. So just can yeah. I use my gift of luck? It's a d20, isn't it? I think that's your third use, though, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it would be. Or is it my second? I think it's your third. I used it for my wisdom. I'm pretty sure it's only my second, but it doesn't matter either way. Alright, it's your second then. Give me a roll. Yeah. My strength is fucking good. Would me holding the shillelagh um, change anything? No. For the fact that it lets me use my, um, my spell attack modifier rather than my strength? No, that that's only for your attack with the club. I'm attacking this door with my strength. No. Uh, as the door starts to break, uh, you see them both uh, kind of like back up and they charge at the door. Uh, both you and the cart go flying because unfortunately you failed the athletics by eight. You end up 10 feet away, um, the cart uh, on the ground over here in this space. And they begin to walk in. Guys, we got a problem! They then make two attacks against you. One each. Am I prone? Uh, yes, you are, sir. Actually, one's going to use a sword. The other's going to use life drain. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Uh, what's your AC? It's right. They have advantage because you're prone. Uh, 16. It hits. One does. Can I use Can I use cutting words? Or have I already used my you reaction? You use your reaction on Pedreg's turn. Alright. So, you take three necrotic damage, but I also need you, sir, to make me a constitution saving throw. Uh, in fact, you need to make two con saving throws, one against the effect and one to hold concentration. Wow, that's amazing. You literally rolled exactly what you needed for the saving throw and the exact amount you needed for, for to hold concentration to. That's impressive. That's luck right there. That's the luck of the wildlife. So, uh, you kind of scramble back a little bit as one brings his sword down and completely misses you. The other one, however, kind of gets a hold of one of your feet and you do take the necrotic damage. Um, but nothing else seems to happen. Broad, 
You can hear the door behind you bust in and Braun get, or sorry, Bjorn get thrown to the floor. What do you want to do? Braun raises his hands in front of his face and does a burning hands towards the two whites that are standing in front of him. Kind of that's uh, some fancy hand motions, brings them back up together to kind of form a triangle with his hands and blasts the two that are standing right in front of it. Hey, uh, even with a Bane, that is a success and a failure. Give me your damage. <laughs> yeah, towards Bjorn. <laughs> Wait, towards Bjorn? No, no, I was kidding. Okay. Bjorn, Bjorn's like a <laughs> joke that would be towards him. Like, I'm to hook some bear. Yeah, I take, oh, thank God. Guys. I thought you were going to say towards me. <laughs> I'm, here to, I'm here to save you. Okay. Um, as you put your hands in um, almost a, uh, uh, it almost looks like a friggin' Kamehameha. You know, you, you do some finger thing like your Naruto, and then you, you push both hands out uh, almost in an arc. And from your hands bursts a cone of fire. Um, Padraig, you can feel the heat, but not enough to burn you. As uh, this dwarf right next to you unleashes a wave of fire flying from his hand. Uh, they both uh, take some damage, and they're... Some of the rust spots on their armor um, begin to crumble slightly. And you can see it burning the flesh underneath. What else you got, Bron? Uh, Bron is going to command the spiritual weapon to move in on the white and swing on the one that's right in front of uh, Padraig. Okay. I was going to specify gift of luck, but I have to do that before I roll, and I didn't need it. Well, maybe I do. Give me your damage. Describe. It comes in hot and just does a slice and takes its legs out, or cuts deep into one leg, um, kind of just letting the thing bleed out or whatever the heck it does. All right. Uh, Brad's not done with that. He's going to risk any sort of attack of opportunity on him, and he's going to run his whole self over here and jump off the table and land beside Bjorn. Oh, my. Bringing my spirit guardians with me. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Bring your spirit guardians with you. I'm going to. Yeah. Um, as you go to leave, you feel a grasp um, on your ankle. You take uh, eight necrotic damage, and I need okay. two constitution saving throws. The first for the extra effect, and the second to uh, hold concentration. Okay. Is there any chance for my mirror image helping me out for that? Uh, oh, yes, there is. Roll me a d20. And with your mirror image, what does a three get you? Molested, probably. <laughs> um, sticks are higher. I have, I have, uh, if you have three duplicates, you must roll a six or higher to change the attack. So no, it hits you, sir. Yeah, yeah it does hit. Yeah. So, two con saves, effect and concentration. Oh, I'm going to use a inspiration point. Okay, so. 
yeah, you're fine. I mean, you take the damage, but that's it. Yeah. And these poor whites would have entered my my uh, spirit guardians. Uh huh. Wisdom. Wisdom. Yep. Nope. God damn. So as you rush over, um, these two are, are getting ready to attack Bjorn again, but your spirit guardians fly in, and you can see, like, um, burn spots appearing all over their body as they, they cry out. Ah! That's everything. Okay. Bjorn. Um, would Bjorn have any idea whether undead have good constitutions? Um, I'm going to say on that one, you really, I mean, you, you don't technically know what constitution is in terms of like stat blocks. But like from like, like being with the wizards that fucked with me. Would I have any knowledge as to their resilience to getting sick? You know what I mean? Like throwing up or or poison kind of thing? Yes, because what you rolled earlier, immune. To the what? To the poison or to throwing up? Both. It's All hard right. for dead things to get sick because they're dead. That changes what I'm going to do for sure. So, is the guy still grabbing me? I mean, he's trying to. Well, you had said he was grabbing my foot and dragging me. No, he didn't drag you. He just grabbed your foot and he dealt you damage with it. So, I'm going to I'm gonna look him in the eyes and be like, You're so bad at being undead, they wouldn't even let you be an extra on CSI. And I burst into a swarm of bats. Okay. I don't know if you need that polymorph, but there it is. Um, now that used my action, so I can't attack. I don't think. Give me one sec. Yeah, as you, as you say that, they, they both kind of like uh, are starting to recover from the radiant burn, and they both look at you with confusion, like fucking CSI. What? Yeah, I can't attack with a bonus action. So, would I be able to just, like, swarm around the one guy's head and impair his vision? Is that something that would be possible to do with my movement? Um, so you're trying to give somebody the help action, is what that would be, and that takes an action to do. And not just my movement? Like, I have a whole swarm no. of bats just, like, in this guy's face? No, but, uh, like, to help give somebody else advantage, um... Like, that's what you'd be doing with, like, trying to blind this person. Would be you'd, be, you'd be using the help action to give the next person that attacks him advantage. Which requires an action. Alright, well, I'm just gonna, like, swirl around Braun then, like, all four of his people. And end my turn. Okay. A drag. Um, if I have two swings, Yar, Yar. and I take one swing at this guy, Yar, Yar. and he dies, can I then use my movement and take a swing at another guy? Uh, yes, you may, but I don't think that's going to happen. Bane is gone, by the way. He lost concentration? Uh, he used his thing to cast his polymorph, basically, for a swarm of bats. So that's up to you. I, I cast Polymorph to become the Swarm of Bats, but in my uh, thing for the the uh, Shadow Cloak or whatever, it says I don't need concentration to be the bats. 
So really that's up to your judgment on whether I had to use concentration because it, because it acts like a polymorph spell and the polymorph spell uh. uses concentration. But my, my cloak says that I don't need concentration to that, remain that as is the bat. Um, however, uh, while in this form of swarm bat, you retain your intelligence, wisdom, and charisma scores. So no, Bane is still there. Perfect. If you still have your original stats, uh, I would say you can concentrate on a spell. That would make sense. Well, I, I just didn't know because it casts Polymorph, but Polymorph needs concentration. I didn't know if I needed it to cast it, and then I just don't have to hold it. Or No, you're good. No, you may go, Padraig. Um, I hit him with my sword. A swing and a... Hit. Is your sword magic, by the way? Um, I thought it was a plus two, but apparently it's a plus one. Uh, yes, it is definitely a plus one. But, uh, that is not magic. That is just, uh, better quality made. Um, Isn't it called Vengeance? I think you just named it that when you grabbed it out of the armory. It doesn't actually have magical abilities. Um, it says, weapon, longsword, uncommon. You have plus one bonus to attack and damage rolls made with this magic weapon. Um, yeah, but that's because uh, by raw rules, they consider plus weapons magical. I don't. Regular, regular plus weapons are just better quality. So unless you put an enchantment on it or like, you know, you, you have a sword that has extra abilities other than uh, a plus to it, they're not magical. Uh, did my slashing damage seem to do nothing? Uh, it still did something. Just not as much as you were hoping for. Uh, how's he looking? He He's looking like he's still good to fight. And the two near Bjorn look like they've taken less damage than the one right by me. Indeed. Okay. Oh, never mind. I can't do that. I already did one swing. Yep. Forget that exists. I'll swing again. End it. Have I used one or two locks? I believe. I believe two. You like rounding up. I thought one. Okay. Uh, I used one on your uh, your shield bash, I believe, and you used one on. Is it a save or an attack? I've mostly done the cantrip, which I can't use it on. I think it was a save then. Uh, but that is a hit. Garbage rolls. 
Yeah, you strike him twice with your sword. Uh, shield bash. Sure. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, unfortunately, it does not work. So he takes, was it one point of damage from one of the things? Yeah, um, so he's doing an ability thing against it, right? Yep. He's rolling. Did he get baned? Forgot about that. Good point. Uh, okay. He does fail, but not by five. So he is pushed back. Like five feet, or? Uh, yep. And he lands prone because you pushed him off the table and he rolled the dexterity to see if he could hold his footing, and he does not. So it's that plus one instead of two, because it wasn't super successful. Uh, no, he just takes the two, right, from the, the spikes? Because he, he got knocked back five feet, but he didn't actually, he wouldn't have gone prone if he was on the ground. He was on top of the table. So he's, you're, you're not getting the full blunt. Uh, he, he barely failed. He didn't fail by more than five. The notes say 1d4 plus one on success and 1d4 plus two on critical success. If it's more than five, it's supposed to do the extra damage. An extra damage of one? It's 1d4 plus 1 if I succeed versus them for the contested thing. It's 1d4 plus 2 if I succeed by more than 5. Okay. I have to look up the notes every session. Yep, uh, he, he does land on the ground prone. Uh, he takes a little damage from your shield spikes. And had he been using a crossbow or a sword? Uh, he was using a long sword. Where did dude go? Oh, he's bats now. Yes, Bjorn is flying around as okay. bats. Last time I looked at the map, he was in the square that I'm in now. Oh, I, I moved myself because I realized that's not where I am anymore, but I just didn't want to put myself right on top of Bjorn. Oh, that's right. You're flying around as mirror images. Okay, so I'm going to take up the square that he used to be in. Okay. Where's Gon? Oh, Gondor's in the other door. Okay. I need to change my zoom level. I'm good. Uh, I'm done. I still have reaction. The one you just knocked over stands back up. He looks around. And he sees Braun over here. He charges in at Braun and his mirror images. And his guardians? He sure does. Yeah. Roll it. A cleric that's a pet class? Since I'm circling him, can I take the hit instead? This is his guardian spirits hitting the bad guy, not them hitting him. Oh. Uh... Seven damage, huh? Yeah, he's starting to look pretty weak as he charges in through the, sp uh, the Spirit Guardians. And he's going to make his attacks at you, Bron. Send it. Oh, wow, he finally hits with a sword. But does he? I'm going to roll for my mirror image. Sure. He hits one of my mirror images. He kind of uh, is a little surprised as one of them disappears. Gondar, you're up. 
Ok. Uh, I rush uh, onto the table and strike at this one. Okay. What's your your charisma is a four, right? Okay. Yeah. You want to describe that? Oh, already. Okay. Uh, I uh, I just uh, swing uh, my uh, my glaive from a high point and uh, crack his skull in the middle. And it pops open. Yeah, rotten brains kind of like slide out the side in chunks and he collapses to the ground. Okay, so I continue with my movement. I have made 10 feet. Can I move here? Or is the real brawn occupying this place? Uh, the one technically all of his mirror images they're all in the same space they're they're like squeezed really close together it's just a lot harder to actually fucking do that so yes okay and I make my two remaining attacks on the other guy okay uh I guess I miss yeah unfortunately uh yours goes uh you don't quite get the trajectory right and it uh it definitely misses however as you spin it around and you go to slam him uh you hit the side of his head um again breaking a piece of the helmet and the face mask part falls off okay and i end my movement here And turn. Okay. These ones are both going to take... Uh, actually, this one is going to take attacks at Brawn. The other one is going to take uh, attacks at Pedrag. So first at Brawn. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And at Pedrag. Fuck me running. Ron, hey, buddy, it's your turn. I'm going to grab a beer real quick, because fuck my life. Level six. Level <laughs> six. These fucking nuts. These fucking nuts. <laughs> Personally, Ron. I feel story-wise, this is the combat that leads to level six. Hmm. I'm just waiting for all these dudes to pop up with their second health bar because they're undead or some bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, Ron. Go ahead, Ron. Um, trying to nah, save a couple uh, spell slots. Yeah, I was just thinking I'm going to cast Sacred Flame on this sucker. Oh, so sacred. The very sacred. The most sacred, one would say. Don't kill him. Only Gondar can get killing blows. <laughs> <laughs> this one here? Yeah, the closest one. Roll it. <laughs> the drag might be right. <laughs> Yeah, um, this one does look very fucking weak. It, the it, you see like it, inside the armor, um, almost looks like radiance is like burning up inside the armor, and he kind of screams in agony. I'm just gonna use my bonus action to command the sword to go over. It's a little closer. That's as far as it gets 30 feet, right? Uh, I believe it's 20. Oh, that's back here. Should be 30. 
I'll look it up. Although I'm used to campaigns that start at 10, so maybe it scales with level. I could be wrong. Let me beat. My other campaign has a warlock that's high level and his can move 30 feet. And then he's got something else that allows it to do that because it does not go up in distance with level. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. It moves to the right here and then that's my turn. Bjorn, what are you and your fucking swarming buddies doing? Um, so if I were to like fly out the door, I would still have line of sight. I feel on the the one like further down, right? Sorry, what now? So if I were to go like that, fly out the door, yeah. So I still have line of sight on one or both of them. Um, would that be flanking? There is if no I... such thing as flanking. I don't run There's flanking. No... I don't run flanking rules. Remember? Okay, fair enough. That destroys. That's going to give me two seconds. I guess it makes more sense for me to use a spell than my shillelagh. So my bats are going to be fluttering around, and they're going to... If if I land on this table, am I high enough to cast a spell without hitting Bron or Padraig in front of me? Like a line of sight spell that comes out of my hands? Like, what, you're dismissing your swarm of bats? Well, I was going to land somewhere and, like, explode back into Bjorn and cast a spell. The swarm of bats was my way of getting out of prone without using an action and getting away from them. Without... You don't use an action to stand up, you just use half your movement. But then I could have got an attack of opportunity. You could have. Uh... It, it was my way of exiting the situation. The swarm of bats has, like, no fucking attack. But... Uh, I, you know what? I just realized something. Does your swarm of bats, does it have the flyby ability? Uh, fly by. It does not. You still should have taken an attack of opportunity. Too fucking late now, bro. Yeah, it is. I just gotta so remember that I, for future. If I were to land there, would I be high enough that if I cast my uh, Eldritch Blast, it would not hit them under me? Like, Braun? You said he's all standing on one square, right? Pretty much, yes. Um, I do need so would to... Would I hit him? I need to read something about your cloak real quick. It costs a bonus action to turn back. A bonus action? Okay. Yes, sir. That's why I used it to get away and bonus action back. So the reason I was asking, because I was going to land behind them with my bonus action and then attack them with my shillelagh. But if I'm not getting advantage being behind them, there's no reason for me to get that fucking close to them. Yeah, no. Um, yeah. We don't have flanking rules. So. So the question remains. I mean, you can still get close and hit them if you'd like. No, the question was where I'm right now. If I use my Eldritch Blast, do I have enough room to not hit Bron and Padraig? Yeah. Like, it, am, it, I, am I standing attack. high it's, enough? It's 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 not. It's an attack. It's It's not a saving throw. It's not an AoE. It's a single target. I, I know, but it's a stream of cold thing. I'm I'm just asking if I'm high enough that I, he's not in my way. Yes, yes. Standing on the table. Okay, I'm going to do that. Why isn't it working? There we go. That is a mess. Oh shit. 16's a mess. Alright, I'm gonna yell to look at Gondar and be like, if we survive this, I have an idea for the most 
badass performance that anyone will have ever seen in their entire life. And I'm gonna give my last bardic inspiration to Patrick. I'll be waiting for a while. Pay money to see it. Okay. Well, if you're giving away, uh, you you came out of your bat form, didn't you, or did you not? Yeah. And it, well, then you can't give your bardic inspiration unless you're using that as your action. Oh, uh, fair enough. I guess I'll take it back. So then, I guess that's it. Okay. But drag, you're up. Does one look worse than the other? Uh, yeah, not even a contest. Uh, holy hand grenade. All right, word of radiance, you scream vengeance. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. As you um, burn, uh, burn them with your your word of vengeance. Um, one of them collapses. The other is screaming, but still alive. I want to, um, can I spit on his corpse? Um, sure. And say, uh, what was that fucking town called? Vogler? Vogler. For Vogler. And then, um, shield bash the one that's still up. to be prone because he can't go nowhere if it's successful i mean if it it doesn't mean uh i mean he's not prone um he's not successful either but he does slam into this wall but he's he's not gonna slide down to his ass he does hit the wall though is it plus one or plus two success uh one A four damage. Um, and since he's not prone, I will. I'm gonna move there. And um, I'm gonna tell Bjorn. Um, uh, if any of these fuckers come back up, sing for me. And in my turn. Okay. Gondar, you're up. Okay. I jump off the table and draw us at the last remaining uh, enemy. Yeah. Is it a hit? It is not a hit, unfortunately. That's a hit. Okay. That is not a hit. So, um, I, as you leap down, you go to make your first hit. Uh, Pedragas just hit him with his, his shield, and he kind of like slams against the wall and your trajectory misses. But then as he, you know, comes back off the wall, you, you slash him and you manage to connect. Uh, 
But as he's reeling, you go for your butt end attack and miss. Okay. I take another step back and end my turn there. Uh, Mrs. Padrag, Braun. Uh, Braun's feeling cheeky and he's going to run in and swing on him with Mercy, his uh, club uh, with Gift of Luck already on there. But he is swinging on him with plus one weight Mace Mercy. That's a hit. So you do two damage. Whoops. Shit. Well, I just fucked that up. I accidentally fucked up his health. He has negative two. That's because I hit the wrong button. Cool. Take <laughs> <Hey>, that. <laughs> and then I also command the, uh, the weapon to come in, which I don't think is far enough. It would be if you moved. Mercy is a mace? It is, yes. yes. Oh, you're moving away? Cool. Yeah. yeah. And you give me an opportunity to uh, do some damage to you, and he fucking misses! <laughs> Make a fucking attack. As I These trash mobs off, are right? trash. Yo, for real <laughs> yeah. though, like you guys haven't taken a single point of damage this entire fight. Oh, sorry, Bjorn took a, a a little bit, and so did fucking Braun, but barely anything. <laughs> yeah, roll your fucking damage. Don't kill him. I have a sick ass burn. Oh, I left. See. All right, what's everybody's passive perception? Fourteen. What would passive perception be like my modifier? No, you have a section underneath your skills that says passive perception. Oh, 15. No, that's passive voice. Only. What? Oh, yeah, that's perception. Yeah, 15. Um, 14 for me. Mine is 20 if I have my shield up. But drag as the last of these undead soldiers. Fall to the ground. You suddenly hear a coughing and choking behind you. And air being drawn. He kind of, he comes up to uh, one knee and he picks up his greatsword, but he kind of like puts the point towards the ground. He's leaning on it. Well, you all were a little more difficult than I thought. Um, as you look, he is still extremely weak. Um, he, he still looks like he's on death's door, but he is, he is kneeling um, with his so sword in his hand. So, gotta be honest. I thought we would have put up much better of a fight. Seems I need to uh, work on who we bring back to to help us, huh? <laughs> Not the same for us. You were even less than expected. Ah. No need to be hurtful about it. This isn't really my body anyways. I've never been a fighter. This just happened to be the weapon he had on him. As you guys look, you can see that uh, although this person is speaking, it seems that the eyes are dead. Are we out of an order? You are. 
I'm just gonna approach and ask him, what sort of devil are you? Um, can I move forward too, since he's moving forward and say something? Yeah. Why couldn't you have just waited for the governor to lose the next election? He might have killed himself after that embarrassment. Elections? What are you talking about? <laughs> Elections! Politicians don't give up power. What are you, new? At least these people tried to help our friends. You have only caused pain today. Ah. Uh, I mean, I just do what I'm commanded. And I just make sure I have some fun doing it. He kind of looks around the room and he's like, Be honest. Oh, are you holding your spirit guardians, by the way? Mm, no. Okay. Because so otherwise he, he would have just died again as soon as you showed up. Yeah, I'll, I dropped it when I approached him. <laughs> I'll take my aura off. Okay. So, so what was the final planned outcome of this? Were you to take the city, level it, or are you just here to haunt us and get your ass kicked? Hey, I, I don't make the plans. I'm not told the plans. I'm just giving orders, man. Can I ask order? you a favor? Uh, can we keep uh, beating your ass and you coming back to do that again? It's been uh, so much of a practice for us. Nah, once this person's body is completely dead, uh, I'm just going to disappear. But uh, you'll see me again. I can promise you that. <laughs> can I try to... Commander? Sorry. Go ahead. I was just gonna ask him who his commander is when he brought that up. Or who commands you. Can I try to grapple him and ask a question at the same time? I mean... Sure. You what, you, you guys just gonna, like, talk over at e over each other at him? <laughs> like... <laughs> no, like, I would or, or try to truth. grab him as he says that, and when he finishes saying what he's gonna say, I'd say what I wanna say. Sure. Uh, my line would be, where's Bedvir? He, he, he looks at Braun as he's asking the question, and before you get the answer out, uh, he, you ask him what... Who the fuck is Bedvir? He's the knight who was taken by... I'd have to look through the notes to see who the dragon rider was, but um, he's the knight of Salamnia who was taken. He was with us. Oh, I don't know. I'm sorry. Who do you think I work for? Let, let, let's make a game of this. So, little dwarf, you want to know who I work for? Yes. That bitch to Kesis. Can any of you guys cast Zone of Truth on this, uh, this annoying fucker? I don't have it prepared today. I actually do. I'm assuming I failed the grapple. No, he's not fighting you on it. You While he's holding him, can I, can I put chains on him? I mean, if you want to. He's not going to fight back. His body's useless now. He's gonna have some fun. I was just thinking so that we know nothing happens when we all back up for him to cast on the truth. I'm not afraid to be inside of it if it's more than a five foot radius. It's up to y'all, man. You you want to put chains on him or you, you don't? I mean, you you guys do what you want to do here. 
I think I have him grappled and he's like one hit from death, so. Yeah, yeah. I don't right. know if we need the chains, but. Instead, I'm gonna take away his sword and rifle through his pockets. Yeah, you, you yeah. take the sword away, like, uh, but Drake's kind of grappling him, so he, he's like, you know, holding on to him and he's like, huh, oh good. Something a little more stable to, to keep me upright. <laughs> And he lets the sword drop to the ground, Bron, or sorry, Bjorn, you come and pick it up. If stability is what you need, I cast Levitate on him. So you're le levitating him? Yeah, while well, I go through his pockets. Um. Okay. Are he and I more than 500 pounds? Um, I don't know. How much do you weigh? With your belongings as well. Um, if it if it helps, I'm slowly stealing all this guy's belongings, armor and all. Is that kilos or pounds? Uh, five hundred pounds. I mean, honestly, it doesn't matter. He, he, like, you're not levitating unless you're going to try and hold the guy. But because and, it's and only is is he willing? I'm grappling him, and I'm 530 with everything. Yeah, so basically, like, he's going to get levitated, and you're just going to be able to, like, hold him from floating up to the fucking roof. Like... But, but no, I, don't I, I get I... to... Sorry. I get to control how high he floats within 20 feet. I don't think I'm 530 proper, because we all have a bag of holding, right? Mm-hmm. Which negates weight for stuff like this. Yeah, so what I usually do with my characters is anything that is in my bag of holding, I will remove the weight on it. Yeah, so I am I am 230 and then some, because I can't negate my fat ass. <laughs> my uh, ass is in the bag of holding. He's probably about the same size. But I guess, yeah, he's he's kind of floating off the ground. Uh, if he doesn't go higher than 10 feet, I won't let go. How high are you raising him, Bjorn? Just enough so that, like, he's not touching the ground because he was having trouble, like, sitting up. And I don't want him to be able to, like, walk away. So he's, like, a foot off the ground. Okay. So he's oh, I'll hang on if it's a foot. <clears throat> sure. Anyways, continue asking your questions. Did he respond to Tekesis? Oh. See, no, that's not my master. I couldn't give a fuck about Tekesis. Then why attack Calaman? Do you... Do you serve... Bakaris? Who the fuck's Bakaris? You keep throwing these names at me like I should know them. Who is your commanding officer, Knight? He smiles, just begins to whistle a tune. Uh, doesn't matter. He was, uh, he was here earlier. But yeah, he had some other business to attend to. Who is it, Soth? What do you know about Soth? Where have you heard that name before? Ancient history. Oh, all right. So, are we gonna zone of truth this guy to make sure he's telling the truth? Or are we just yeah, zone trusting truth. this shell on its word? Oh, yeah, no, I, I assumed like as soon as you posted it, you were casting it. Yeah, oh, I didn't see him post it. That's why I was asking. Yeah, he, he's huh. Oh, well, I mean. I know of Soth too. Why did you kill the council? I was ordered to. By whom? How many more are with you? Shit, I'm trying to whistle and fucking nobody, like, my stream isn't picking it up. Just Discord. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Yeah, he's just kind of whistling as you continue asking quite uh, as you ask keep asking about his commander. <laughs> do you serve a mortal or do you are you doing the bidding of a god? Neither. Answer us, demon, or we'll send you back to hell. <laughs> demon? <laughs> he chuckles. What What makes you think I'm a demon? I'm not a so demon. Which, which undead do you serve? You're obviously not in charge of all this, or you wouldn't have been so easy to dispatch. Easy? Come now. What do you mean, easy? He, he almost seems insulted at that. He fucking should be. <laughs> We've fought lizards tougher than you. I've taken more damage from a dead lizard. Don't have to roll for deception on that one. As you guys are interrogating him, suddenly you hear a voice from behind you. Um, maybe I could be of assistance. The fuck is this? Gondar, history at advantage. I'm pretty sure you're the person who talked to her before. Actually, uh, who, um, at the funeral, which one of you was the one that talked to the hooded figure that wouldn't show her face? Oh, fuck. Let me look. I think it was Gondar. I can't recall. Dude, does this figure remind me of something or of someone? Hold on, I'm, I'm looking for somebody to, to find who it was talking to a cloaked figure at the funeral. I might have had the wrong person roll. Um, the only hooded figures I have in the notes are from the uh, carnival and then the attack on the north gate of Vogler after the carnival. I'm searching the notes for hooded. Is there... Could they have been cloaked? Yes. Uh, it was a female. Uh, the one little they could see of the face was elven features. It was at the funeral. If you can't find it, I'm just going to say it was Gondar. I'm pretty sure it was anyways. Or it was Bedvir, and that's why we don't know. <laughs> that could be it, too. We're going to go with Gondar. Gondar, you, you recognize this voice. And it takes you a moment to place it. Okay. Um, the voice is the hooded female you spoke to um, in the tavern at the funeral for Ispen. Ah, in the tavern. Yes, I did sp speak to her. You're right. Oh, you do remember now. Okay. So uh, in the uh, uh, in the funeral. Yes. Not in the tavern. Yeah, the funeral was at the tavern. Like the, there was the the the, the uh, where he was. Uh, uh, like like uh, when everybody was giving their eulogies and stories about Ispen. Um, okay. There. Yeah, like mm -hmm. she was watching and then she fucking left before the actual, you know, they set him out on the river and set it on fire. Yeah. Yes, 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 you're right. You recognize Can the you... voice. I try to get closer if she lets me. She does. How do I delete those? You click on them and hit delete. Uh, but you got to be on your, uh, your select tool, not your draw tool. Oh my god, I make me worse. It's spreading. <laughs> Who are you? 
Who are you, lady? Sorry, one second. Ah, I, I believe we've met before, have we not? Um. Oh, we have. And as she pulls her cloak down, you see before you a ghostly figure. Whoa. Um, she's kind of, uh, almost not really opaque. Half ethereal. You can almost see the wall through her. She looks over and says, Yes. My name is Lidara. And that, that one there, <clears throat> though I don't know whose body that is, the one inhabiting it is Karadok. Can you spell the lady's name? Is he a friend of yours? No. He has no friends. Do you? Once upon a time I did. Before Soth did what he did. Shit. Sorry, I forgot to have the song on repeat and it skipped to a combat song. He says, uh, or sorry, she says... A long time ago, I was friends with Soth before his fall. I was there and I saw it happen. <laughs> oh, look at that wasted nat 20. <laughs> I always roll 20s on initiative. Um, but she says, uh, he, Cataract works for Soth. He's one of his lieutenants. I came here to give warning, but unfortunately, Soth and these creatures that he brought with him, and as she says creatures, she kind of looks at um, Herodoc. And she it kind of gives like a, a like a dirty look. She's I think she's inside the zone of truth right now where she's standing. That's fine. She has not lied. Yeah, and, it was uh, while I was standing there, so it should be like around this area, just FYI. That's why she stepped you... into it. Because she knew what you did. She wanted to make sure that you're aware she's not lying. And who did you come to warn? The council. You were late. As it seems. I was. And most, most importantly. As were we. Are you a person that we can trust? Well. As you can see. I'm not hurt. As I stand in. The dwarves zone of truth. So, I have not told a lie. That's not an answer. Can we trust you, yes or no? Wow, he is very untrusting, isn't he? Yes, you can trust me. I came here to warn them. Why would I warn them if I'm not somebody you could trust? Yeah, yeah. to your own benefit. Perhaps you revive all of this guy here. And you say that, but clearly these knights got into the walls without a battle. They probably arrived with the same thing. We have a warning for you. They got deep into the city, and then they just killed everybody. Do not blame me for my wariness when I stand around the corpses of the people that are supposed to be running this town. Karadoc is fucking howling. Oh my god, this is great. <laughs> Can I slap him? Sure. For non-lethal? Yeah, non-lethal. I'm just gonna like slap him in the face and tell him to shut his mouth. 
And did I find anything in his pockets or on him at all? Because I, I was slowly taking off all of his armor and putting it in my bag and going through all of his pockets. Uh, first of all, Sutton will take him out of his room. I guess uh, what this lady has to say is not for his ears. I cast deafness on him. What? Are we done with this creature? He had nothing Ron, in like... his pockets, by the way. <coughs> yeah, you, y'all, y'all, y'all gotta like point. get through one question. Let me answer before the next person asks a question, man. Like, goddamn. I'm like, I, 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 there's a probably a dozen questions you guys have asked that I haven't fucking answered because I don't remember them. Because you guys keep fucking dropping more questions, bro. Like, let me get an answer out get... first. Should we do world initiative? <laughs> I'm starting to fucking think so. Okay. So, Braun, you smack him. Ouch. I thought your kind liked mirth. What's a mirth? Like funny stuff. As Bjorn asks that question, he just kind of like snickers, tries to hide his smile. You think not knowing words is funny? Do ya? Do ya, punk? We kicked your fucking ass without words. Eh. It's not my body. I don't know how to control it as well as I should. <clears throat> don't worry, though. Whatever uh, my commander has for you, it's, it's going to be interesting, I'm sure. So do you guys want him to not be able to hear the rest of this conversation? Braun essentially asked yes. if, if we have anything else to ask this thing as he essentially just wants to kill him, but he's not going to without permission from the team. I got something. Hey, the way you control this body, are you bound to this body till you die? Like, what means are you using to control this shell? Sorry, I was choking. Can you repeat your question? I said, what means are you using to control this shell? Like, are you, are you stuck controlling this until it's passing? I mean, I can leave it if I wanted to, but I'm having fun. Bjorn, you have the chains, right? Yes. Follow me. I follow him. I drag him over here. Oh, I never chained him up. You want me to chain him up? Chain him up. No, we're going to chain him to this fucking bench. Go back to the lady and close the door. He's obviously not a threat. If he escapes, we'll just fucking kill him again, but chain him to this bench. All uh, right, I do that. Sure, give me survival. Can I help? Yep. You're an advantage. Yeah, it seems to oh, yeah. done a pretty good job. Oh, and by the way, for clarification, you do still have one gift of luck. I went all the way back to the start of this session, and I've only used two. Okay. Uh, you guys got to make sure you keep track of that somewhere. Like, I don't know. Mark down on I, paper I, as you use them or something. I was keeping track of it, but you questioning it? Oh, yeah. It, 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 guess it, my tracking. I mean, it, it, if I if I ask, it's because I'm not sure. So if you just be like, yeah, I've been marking it down, then, then that's... I mean, that's your answer there. Your answer there. Yeah, he's got twelve different charges of luck to keep track of. It's a lot. <laughs> well, no, each person keeps track of their own charges. Charges. No, no I'm I, saying I, if I have, you were the I, only I, one doing it, it's a lot to keep track of. Yeah. The combat. Oh, I just keep track of mine. I have a sheet that has like our book translations, succeeds and failures, our events of evil acts, our good acts, my Zalkun gift of luck, and like my aid and exhaustion. 
So. But you can keep track of your exhaustion on your sheet, my dude. I put it on there before I knew that. Oh, gotcha. Um, but yeah, you guys chain him up, and you guys walk back in and shut the door. And as soon as the door shuts, Hey, don't leave me out here. I'm lonely. Uh, he's obviously having to shout, although it sounds like a whisper coming through the door. Wait, one cool. thing. <clears throat> Do we even have control of the city right now? We saw their guards at the gate as we came in. Our... Um, if I were to have had the perception to count the number of Knights of Salomnia that we passed on our way from the front gate to here, how many did we kill versus how many I saw? If all of those were whites in Killed Knights and of saw is the exact same number. Okay. Then I will say unconfidently, <laughs> because I know we didn't tour the entire estate, um, I think we might have gotten most of them. As soon as this conversation's over, I feel... I don't know. I have a feeling one of us should disguise ourselves as, as the Chancellor to command the city guard into Cudgel and Vendry can arrive back and take control of the city. You know what I mean? We, these guys clearly infiltrated and we can't just leave things as we are. And if we just announce the death of the council, there's going to be pandemonium. Ron kind of grits his teeth and says, aye, but look around. It's fucking pandemonium, Bjorn. We can't and hide here, this from the people. I'm not asking us to hide it from the people. The, when we walked in, things seemed, you know, tense, but not an invasion war outside tense. You know what I mean? People weren't being murdered in the streets. I'm, I'm just meaning I feel somebody needs to take control to command the guard and keep this place safe until Vendry and and Cudgel can arrive back and take control and decide what to do from there. I order is needed. I see what you mean. Do we know if there's any other... Would there, would there be any other commanding officers or military in the city outside of Vendry? With, I know a lot have been out. Padraig dances from foot to foot as if he needs to use the restroom. Uh, yeah, that's a good point. We never had a break tonight, did we? No. Uh, yeah, alright. Uh, why don't we take our quick break? Um, and then we'll be back in, like, five minutes. And we'll finish up the session. Alright, hey. I'm running out for a smoke. If everybody's back and I'm still not back, just text me, Blair. Yep. Collect your thoughts. <laughs> 